of course, we have Chief Meteorologist Harvey Leonard joined by Storm Team Cindy Fitzgibbon. And guys, I know we're in some of the heaviest bands right now coming through. Yeah, and, and in fact, it's just settling in where we just saw Danielle. You know, we couldn't see that much behind her by the time she was finished talking. Right. But we could see her, so yeah, that was good. Pretty good, yeah. And, you know, very different from just a half an hour ago when we checked Absolutely. in with her. Absolutely. And the folks watching us from Essex County, boy, have they been hard hit. Some mm -hmm. of the amounts that just found out about, you know, mm -hmm. the updates from Amesbury. And they got in on it first, so those bands have been working down the coast. Yeah, so we're talking like 19, 20 inches of snow up around Salisbury and Amesbury. That's a lot of snow. All right, let's check it out for you. Yes, the blizzard warning is in effect. Right now, it's going to stay in effect until 7 a.m. tomorrow. I don't want you to panic more than you may already be panicking about the heavy snow that you may see outside your window. It's not because it's going to snow all that length of time. The snow will wind down around midday today, but the visibility is going to stay very poor at times because all that snow that's falling now and all the snow that's on the ground, the parts that are light, dry, and fluffy, are going to start blowing all over the place as the winds really continue to pick up. So we have the blizzard warning that will continue on. All right, as you look at the varying conditions, and of course, look at all that snow on the ground, even in areas where it isn't snowing quite as hard. Boxford 13, Tosfield 11, Gloucester 10. Some of these are going to be updated. Ainsbury, you mentioned, is 20. Newburyport 16, and Salisbury 19. Stoneham's hit 10. Dorchester around 9. Norwood about that by now. So was Concord. And New Bedford had 6.5, and, and now just started to get into the heavy band. So they're rapidly adding to that amount. Here are those bands, but this area, right around 495 in, is really getting pounded. Actually, I've looked and the snow has ended at the moment in Portland, Maine, and the visibility has jumped up in Concord, New Hampshire, because you see they're near the back edge as these bands rotate south. But it's our turn right now to really be in it. In the most intense bands, like right here between 128 and 495, and down here as you go from Taunton toward the Cape Cod Canal, you could get as much as two to four inches of snow in just a single hour. And there's been lightning reported with some of those bands. So Whalen, Acton, Framingham, Holliston, Framingham has been in this now a couple of hours, just about to Boston, all getting the heavy snow. And then down south, Brockton, Bridgewater, Dighton, Middleborough, also involved in those very heavy snow bands. Here's what happens as we move out in time. We still see the same area a few minutes from now, but a couple of hours from now, it starts to have some breaks, and the very heaviest band seems to be down toward Plymouth County and Cape Cod. As we head toward the lunchtime hour, the snow is coming to an end in Boston, lingering in a few bands around the South Shore and the Cape, and then moving offshore thereafter. So it looks pretty bad in terms of the snow now. It won't stay that way all day long, but we're still estimating right around a foot in this band right here, but amounts over a foot, particularly Essex County, southern New Hampshire, and southern Maine. Amounts will trail off, especially far to the west, where you're more, only more on the edge of the snow in this particular situation. As far as temperatures, they are cold, and wind and wind chill all going to be a big part of our lives for a while, right, Cindy? You got it, Harvey. And the wind really is just starting to ramp up right now. We've gotten a couple of gusts along the coast on the Cape, over 40 miles per hour. Highest wind gusts so far have actually been up on the North Shore around Rockport. We did clock a gust to around 50 miles per hour. But I want to take you forward in time here because as we move through the morning till about lunchtime, the winds are really going to start to get even stronger than they have been so far. We're going to see gusts over 50 miles per hour, particularly on the Cape. Elsewhere along the coastline, the winds are going to be gusting over 40 miles per hour, even away from the coast, 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. So all that snow is going to be blowing around. But this is what is so incredible here. Notice the time stamp here. It's close to 5 p.m. The winds are still gusting over 50 miles per hour. We move forward about 12 hours to tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. and the winds are still gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour. So these winds are going to be with us right through tomorrow morning. And that means each and every hour that the temperatures go down and the winds go up, the wind chill is going to be dropping. Right now, the wind chill is close to zero. By midday, it's in the teens below zero. And by this evening, the wind chill values are going to be down more than 20 degrees below zero. And during the overnight hours and first thing tomorrow morning, I know it's President's Day tomorrow. Many of you may have the day off, but if you are going to be venturing out, wind chill readings down near 30 degrees below zero. That's some dangerous stuff. That's why we have a wind chill warning up across most of the state. You can get frostbite in about 10 minutes' time with a wind chill near 30 degrees below zero. So that is certainly some dangerous stuff. And of course, after the snow stops, we got to clean it all up to talk more about what's coming after this storm. There may be another one we have to track as well. Harvey has more on that. Oh, gosh. Bite your tongue, Cindy. But uh, I fear you are right about that one. I uh, just wanted to show you not just the wind gusts that Cindy just talked about at great length, 
But the other thing to mention with this, as, as we go out in time, is the Tuesday forecast, because we know that incredible bitter cold on Monday. But a very quick system is going to pass south and east of us during the day on Tuesday will likely bring us some accumulating snow. It could be a fringe and just a small amount of snow, or it could be more of a quick, moderate hit. We have to follow that very carefully. That is the Tuesday situation. Here's how it happens. See the storm? makes its move up the coast. Will it be close enough to give us appreciable snow or just to graze us? That's what we're going to find out over time as it'll be a fast active pattern with that snow returning, at least some of it. And I'd say the potential is there for several inches. After that, some flurries on Wednesday. Bitter cold again for the second half of the week as if it ever exited. And the temperatures may moderate a little bit during the day on Saturday after a very cold start. That's how it's looking. Ed and Jason. As